Oh. Didn't know you were coming in town. I, uh... Where are you from, Blanche? Uh, why, I live in Laurel. In Laurel, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, in Laurel. That's right. Not my territory. Liquor goes fast in hot weather. Have a shot? <laughs> no, I uh, rarely touch it. Some people rarely touch it, but it touches them often. <laughs> <laughs> my clothes are sticking to me. Do you mind if I make myself comfortable? No, please, please do. Be comfortable is my motto. It's mine too. Uh, but it's hard to stay looking fresh. I haven't even washed or powdered my face, and uh, here you are. You know, you can catch a cold sitting around in damn things. Especially when exercising hard like bowling is. You're a teacher, aren't you? Yes. What do you teach, Blanche? English. I never was a very good English student. How long are you here for? Ah, oh, I uh, don't know yet. You going to shack up here? I thought if it wouldn't inconvenience you all. Good. Traveling wears me out. Well, take it easy. Oh! 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 oh what's that? Cats. Hey, Stella! Stanley, stop picking on Blanche. That girl calls me common. Lately, you've been doing all you can think of to rub her the wrong way, Stanley. And Blanche is sensitive. And you've got to realize that Blanche and I grew up under very different uh, circumstances. So I've been told. And told, and told, and told. You know she's been feeding us a pack of lies here? No, I don't. Well, I... she has, however. But now the cat's out of the bag. I found out some things. What things? Things I already suspected. But now I have proof from the most reliable sources, no. which I have checked on. Please tell me quietly what you think you've found out about my sister. Lie number one. All this squeamishness she puts on. You should just know the line she's been feeding to Mitch. He thinks she has never been more than kissed by a fellow. But Sister Blanche is no lily. <laughs> Some lily she is. What have you heard and who from? Our supply man down at the plant has been going through Laurel for years. And he knows all about her. And everybody in the town of Laurel knows all about her. She is as famous in Laurel as if she were the president of the United States, except she isn't respected by any party. Our supply man stops at a hotel called the Flamingo. What about the Flamingo? She stayed there too. My sister lived at Belle Reve. This is after the home place had slipped through her lily white fingers. She stayed at the Flamingo, a second class hotel which has the advantage of not interfering in the private social lives of the personalities there. The Flamingo is used to all kinds of goings on. But even the management at the Flamingo was impressed by Dame Blanche. In fact, they were so impressed by Dame Blanche that they requested her turn in her room key for permanently. This happened a couple weeks before she got here. What contemptible lies. Sure, sure. I could see how you would be hurt by this. She pulled the wool over your eyes. It's just your as much as bitches. invention. There's not a word of truth in it. If I were a man and like a creature that had dared to invent such things in my presence, I... Honey, I told you I thoroughly checked on these stories. Now wait till I finish. The trouble with Dame Blanche was that she couldn't put her act on anymore in Laurel. They got wised up after two or three dates with her and they quit. And she goes on to another. Same old line. Same old act. Same old hooey. But the town was too small for this to go on forever. And as time went by, she became a town character. Regarded as not just different, but downright loco. Nuts. Hello, my name is Mehmet John Axoy. I'm 6'3 and I'm based in Chicago. 